Hello everybody, I'd like to start off with two stories. The first one is about a man who was remembering about a time when he was younger. He was arguing with his mother and they spent a lot of their time just arguing back and forth over the night and were getting very angry with each other and saying a lot of things that were hurtful and mean. Eventually they stopped arguing and they went their separate ways. The son went into his room and the mother went away. Later that night, the mother came to his door, tried to come in and reconcile and, you know, get a hug or something from, just sh something from her son to show that she was really trying to make things better with him. He pushed her away, didn't want anything to do with her and told her to go away and that he hated her. She left the room without any kind of reconciliation and they both went to bed. In the middle of the night, the someone was awakened by some sirens and wasn't sure what was going on. And he went outside of his room and he found his dad with his hands in his head. And he said, what's wrong? And he said his mother had passed away. Turns out that over the night, his mother had a brain aneurysm and had died in bed and was unresponsive when the husband tried to wake her up. To this day, that man still regrets not really reconciling with his mother on that argument that they had, and regrets not spending the time that night to try and make things better or repair, or even try and go back on what he had said. The second story I want to tell you is very similar in nature. It's about a young, a young woman who was remembering her teenage years. She was arguing with her father. And they also were going back and forth talking about how she wasn't getting ready for school in time and he needed to be at work and back and forth and the bus is coming. And eventually she said, I hate you. I never want you to be around me again. And they both left angry. The father left in his car to go to work and the daughter was continuing getting ready for the bus ride. She went to school as she normally did, came back home. And it was later that night that her mother came back before the typical dinner time and she wasn't sure what was going on. And the mother had been at the hospital all day. It turns out on the drive to work, her father had actually been in a car accident. He did not recover and he did not make it. He had passed away en route from the, from the crash site to the hospital and died there. Again, she never got a chance to tell her dad that she did love him and that she didn't really mean those things that she said out of anger. Now, both of these stories are very tragic in nature, and it's difficult to really talk about these without being saddened by them. But there are some lessons that we can try and gain from these tragic stories that can help us understand how to really live our life to the fullest and treat each moment like it was our last. One of the, the first thing to keep in mind is that choose your words and action wisely. Obviously, these were younger children that probably didn't understand what they were, but we can learn from those and think about saying those types of words in, in anger and not really taking a moment to think about what we're going to say. It might be the last words that you get to say to somebody. And is that really what you want to leave that relationship? Could you bear having those be the last words, or could you stand that being your last memory? Obviously, in the heat of argument, it's very easy to get overwhelmed and flooded and say things that we don't mean or that we're trying to be hurtful. But it is very important to remember that our footsteps and the places we go will disappear, but the memories that we leave in people's minds will last for a lifetime. The second thing I'd like you to, to Gain from these stories is that what are the things you would have liked to have done in your life? Seeing that these two individuals who you know, had families and children, they passed away suddenly. They probably didn't even think that that would occur to them, but it reminds us that every day could be our last. So are you truly living in the idea that you can be gone tomorrow? So do you do things that you want to do or are you fearful so you don't do those things? Are you taking every opportunity that you do get? Um, are you also taking the chances that are out there that might 
be something that's really far out of reach, but you might be able to attain it. Would you regret not having taken those chances or doing those things or creating the relationships? These are the two lessons that we get from these stories. And a quote that I found from Amy Blaschka um, is, regret is an endless loop of wishing you had done something different than punishing yourself for not doing it. So by really thinking about living your, each moment as if it were your last, having each conversation as if it might be the last time you talk to that person or have time with that person, can really help move you towards having a more positive interaction or positive or fulfilled life. So here are my asks to you, asks of you. Number one, next time you're in an intense situation and you are getting angry or you might have already said something out of anger, take a moment, wait, think about it, go back to that person, try and reconcile. Don't leave it there, don't leave it festering where you might not be able to have that reconciliation in the future. Number two, spend time with those that you love. Make sure they know how much you love them or how much you care about them. Also make sure to share your appreciation for them because although you may know it, they might not know it because they've never heard it from you or they don't feel it from you. Number three, take the time to really grasp each opportunity as if it is your last, thinking that you might not be able to do that thing again in the future or might not have that chance ever again. Number four, take the time to get outside and enjoy what we have around us. Connect with the natural world. Take each moment as if it is your last. Number five, make sure that you reflect on your mistakes. What could you go back and change or do differently? Is there an opportunity now to go back and reconcile with somebody you might have had an intense and angered conversation with that you might have said things that you didn't mean to hurt them with or you didn't mean to say. Hopefully these five things will help you focus on living each moment like it is your last. I want to thank you for joining me today and have a great day.